What's up guys, Scotty2Hockey here, let's talk Habs. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do my recent game reviews, I'm just getting over a terrible flu in case you can't tell by the sound of my voice, but there's no way I wasn't reviewing this game. Saturday night in Montreal versus the Habs' biggest rival, the Toronto Maple Leafs, well you can debate it, it's either Toronto or Boston, but to me it's Toronto, and the Montreal Canadiens defeat the Toronto Maple Leafs in game 11 of the regular season, 5-2, and what was an absolutely dominating performance by the Habs. They dominated the first period, they dominated the third period. Toronto showed a bit of fight in the second period, tying it up, but an exhausted Leafs team that were playing on a back-to-back -back with their backup in net stood no chance against Montreal in this game. The Habs outshot the Leafs 38-31. to The block shots were 17-14 to for Montreal. Montreal had 29 hits, Toronto had 32 hits in what was a very physical game. Montreal had a 48.5% face-off percentage. The Leafs had a 51.5% face-off percentage. The Habs had 8 takeaways. Toronto had 2 takeaways. The Habs had 19 turnovers. Toronto had 15 turnovers. The Habs went 1 for 2 on their power play. The power play has been great lately. And last night, the penalty kill wasn't bad either. The Leafs went 0 for 1 on their power play. We get into the first period, 7.43 into the first period. After a lot of good shots by Montreal, Brendan Gallagher finally beats Michael Hutchinson. The, the Leafs' backup was in tonight. Assists by Thomas Tatar and Mike Riley. Phil Deneau wins the faceoff, gets it back to Mike Riley. Mike Riley shoots it on net. Thomas Tatar gets the puck on his stick, passes it over to Brendan Gallagher. Brendan Gallagher makes no mistake. Typical Galley goal. Beats Hutchinson. Nice goal by Galley. 12.34 into the first period. Jonathan Drouin, breakaway goal. Uh, uh, this was all created by Yoel Armia. Yoel Armia creates a turnover in the Montreal zone, flicks it up to Jonathan Drouin, who's breaking in between two Leafs defenders. He gets the puck on his stick, comes in, makes a nice little move on Hutchinson, tucks it under his pad, scores a nice goal. Beautiful goal by Jonathan Drouin. 19.44 into the first period, late in the first period, only 16 seconds left. Jake Muzzin scores off a backhand pass by Mitch Marner. Second period, 5.52 into the second period. Kind of a weird goal by the Leafs. There's a scramble in front of the Montreal net. Andreas Janssen manages to get the puck on his stick while he's back on to Price. And instead of turning around and shooting it at Price or passing it over, he puts the puck between his legs over Price's shoulder on what was a very weird, very fluky goal. You can't blame Price on that goal. 2-2 two two for the uh, at least tied up 2-2. Two two. Seven seconds into the third period, Yoel Armia forces a turnover at the Toronto Blue Line right off the faceoff and skates in, beating Hutchinson with a nice little wrist shot. There were no assists on the goal. That was all a result of Yoel Armia's hard work and individual effort. And Yoel Armia has really been coming on for the Habs lately. He's looking great. Same with Nick Suzuki, too. 7.40 into the third period, Drouin forces a turnover off a Tyson Berry uh, play at the Montreal Blue Line, then uses his dynamic quick burst speed. He gets another wide open breakaway and once again makes no mistake, shooting a beautiful wrist shot through the five hole of Hutchinson. Great play by Drouin. 11.53 into the third period, Nick Suzuki scores on a two-on-one rush with Nate Thompson. Cousins gets the puck up to Thompson. Suzuki joins the rush, creating a two-on-one. Thompson passes past the Leafs defender over to Suzuki, who shoots a wrist shot past Hutchison, a sprawling Hutchison, who up until that third period was having a good game. Price stopped 29 of 31 shots. Hutchinson stopped 33 of 38 shots. Price had a 9.30 save percentage, and Hutchinson had an 8.60 save percentage. Sorry if this review was a little bit rough, guys. Like I said, I'm just getting over the flu, and for me to even get these words out of my mouth is hard. I had a really sore throat the past few days. I've been on antibiotics. I'm doing the best I can with it, but I hope you like it, and stay tuned for my upcoming reviews, and I'm going to have a Habs of, a Hab of the Month. So at the end of October, I'll have a Hab of the Month. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and of course, have a great day. This is Scotty2Hockey. Let's talk Habs. Over and out.